All right, we're gonna talk about the gallery. Pretty simple and straightforward. We have a single gallery page. We can obviously paginate through, go back and forth, so it's gonna adjust itself, <clears throat> excuse me, to how many pictures you actually upload to the gallery. All right, so let's come back to the admin section. I'm losing my train of thought here for a minute. We're gonna go to pages, and then what we're gonna look for is gallery. And when you come to it, it's blank. Um, that's normal, so don't, don't worry about that. So what we want to do is just simply upload images to the gallery. So we come to Add Media. And then if you do this drop-down right here, it says Uploaded to this page. Here's the pictures that we've uploaded so far. Now, let me make a quick point. Um, I was going to upload all your pictures that you have uh, in the Dropbox. However, most of them are huge as in 2,000, 3,000, some are even 4,000 pixels wide. That is just astronomically huge, not only for server space, but for viewing space, because basically it's gonna shrink down the picture to a small thumbnail for you, but when you click it, it's gonna show the full size of the image you've uploaded. Um, so if I click this one, this is the actual size of the image you put in your Dropbox, this, this version right here. Same with this one, that's this size. And then this one, so, um, depending on, you'll see how this one's larger, so depending on whether, if you want it to be exactly uniform or that kind of a thing, you're gonna have to crop those down. Um, you can either do that before uploading, there's tons of software, free software, your computer probably does it, I think PC has built-in stuff. Um, you could do something online, or actually you can even come in uh, and crop within WordPress. Um, there's a section under the media area where you can crop and edit an image. Um, that Those video tutorials that I gave you, you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to watch one of those videos and, and I believe it tells you how to do that. If not, uh, just go ahead and, you know, and ask me and then, um, I, I, you know, I can help you. Anyways, kind of going on a little bit of a tangent there. Um, anyways, <clears throat> let's back up. We're under the upload to, to this page section and right now these are the pictures that were at least small enough, the other ones were too big and you know, if you do a pop-up and it's 3,000 pixels wide, it's going to be beyond your screen. The person's not going to be able to view it. So I, I advise you upload, you know, pictures that are, you know, within the size of the screen. I would say no bigger than 800 pixels wide, maybe 1,000 tops. Okay? Um, so to add pictures, we just do, make sure you have uploaded, to, uh, excuse me, make sure you choose upload files, select your pictures. So in this case, let me see if I can... Let me look at, let me see if I can find another one in here that you've added that's not too ginormous. I guess these are a little small, but you know, it'll it'll serve the purpose now. So I select them, go ahead and upload, and you'll see it's working. Once you're uploaded, you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to insert into page, you don't have to click this insert into page button. There's no save, there's, there's nothing we need to click. It's once you upload an image to WordPress, it's saved into the library. Now if I come back and refresh, Boom, here's the three new ones, okay? That's it. Hope that makes sense.